is going on everyone? Steve here. Welcome back to another episode of Line Cook. This afternoon we're starting off our trip. It's been really really hot these past few days. It's about 90 degrees out right now. I got plenty of water in the backpack. And we're gonna walk the beach and see if we can find some fluke. So let's get fishing, see if there's some fish around. Starting off with a half ounce bucktail. And trying out the four inch gold on the teaser gonna do the three inch mullet if you haven't seen the last video i just talked a lot about my setup and how i fish for fluke on the surf so definitely check that video out hopefully we can get into some nice size ones today but we're gonna get right into the fishing first cast Yeah. All right. Fish on the board, very first cast. You know what they say though about the first cast. Hopefully we don't get bad luck. We'll let them go right away. On the first cast. Probably like a 12 inch short. Second cast. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. That's a better fish. You know what? That could be very, very close to a keeper. I think so. On the teaser. You can see when you close the mouth there, he's on zero. You pinch the tail and he's over 17. That's a keeper. Wow, what a start. Gonna let him bleed out. That's two for two. Right in the first spot that we thought looked good. We got a little point. And on this outgoing tide, there's a nice little drop off right here next to the sandbar. So it seemed like the first spot we picked is holding fish. Oh, I think I missed that one too. Yes, I did. Yeah, they're right here, man. Wow. That's a fluke. 16 inches. Beautiful fish. Let him go right away. See you, bud. Three for three. Three casts. Three fluke. How long are we gonna keep this going? And we're gonna keep it going. Crazy, huge pot of rays out there. Hundreds of them. Wow. On the bucktail, sea robin. Well, you can lip these guys just like you would a bass. They bite a little bit, but they can't hurt you. They got no teeth. Four for four. Notice that I'm not even making that far a cast, just right past this breaker. And there's rays right in the surf. I don't want to hook one of those guys by accident. Yep. That was a weird bite. It was a little delayed. This isn't that big. It's a short, no doubt. But just look at the colors. Such a pretty fish. We're gonna get him back very quickly. See you, buddy. So I have this backpack right here where I got my water. It's really hot out. It's actually a cooler in here where I got this big camelback with water and an ice pack. At least that way he'll stay cold, or kind of cold. Better than being out in the sun. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. That's a ray. Oh no. 
This is what I need. This is what I mean. There were these rays swimming in the surf. Oh my god. Now I gotta try to land him on 15 pound braid. Oh no. I, I really don't want him to fool me. Shoot, he's out there. I'm trying to see if I could pop that off just a little bit. All right. At least we didn't get spooled by that. Lost our rig though. This would be a good time to show you how I tie the rig. There's the teaser T, Thunder Miss Loris. I still have my FG knob right here with the 15 pound line, fluorocarbon leader. You just tie it on the front, the first hook here on the top. Just a regular fisherman's knot. Right there, get your leader about maybe two feet. Now you tie that to the bottom of the T-turn. All right, then you get your bucktail. This is a half ounce pro, and sometimes I use a tactical angler's clip, but I'm just gonna tie directly to this. Just like so. Trim any of the tag ends. And today I'm using four inch gulp. I usually use five inch, but I'm gonna try these ones out. It's a little bit more slim. Just like that. Nice and straight. You can see that the presentation is really good. Yep. All right. It's the right species. Just a teeny tiny fluke. Got him. That feels pretty good. Yeah, that feels very good. See Robin? Or Fluke? He's staying down. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! What? Woo! Oh, I didn't want to get excited and think it was a sea robin. That is a stud fluke. All right, buddy, inhaled the bucktail. Inhaled it. Look at that. Look at the shoulders on that thing. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? I don't know, let me guess. 21, 22, maybe more. Twenty one. Wow. Beauty. Awesome colors on it. It's got some real nice fillets too. Woo. What a fight. Gonna put it in the cooler bag right now. Man, we are on a pretty good bite here on the outgoing. Pretty good. This spot is hot right now. Right between these waves.
Yep. Woo! Sea robin. All right, so I had to cut the trip short for two reasons. The first one is broke my rod. I don't know what happened. I was fighting a fish and then a wave came up, kind of knocked the rod out of my hands and the whole combo went into the surf. I thought I lost it, then I found it, got it out of the surf and the tip was broken, so that's a bummer. And also my glasses, so what are you gonna do? Broke two things. I think it would have been possible to get the limit as well, but we got two fish in the cooler. It's more than enough. We're gonna be able to cook those fish up probably right about now. I got the Traeger behind me and I think it's a good sign to mean that I'm gonna smoke something up. Today we're gonna do a potato au gratin and we're gonna take that fluke that we just caught and I'm gonna stuff it with a crab cake mixture. Throw it on the smoker. It's gonna be really good so let's start cooking. Yeah, that's perfect. Kind of shingles about that thick. And when I'm done slicing them, I'm just gonna put them in some water so that they don't turn brown. So then we have our sliced potatoes. So this is the pan that I'm gonna use to put in the smoker. I'm gonna take some butter and just grease all the sides of this pan. So we are finely dicing some white onion. A little bit of pepper salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. Now we're gonna take some heavy cream, pour that right in. I really just wanna flavor that cream with the onions, a little bit of garlic. It's gonna give the potatoes a really nice flavor. So now we're gonna grate some fresh gouda to go on these potatoes gonna be really cheesy. We're gonna take our potatoes, let them just loosely drain in your hand, and we're just gonna pile them in here. So that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just layered in there nicely. So we have our cream that reduced a little bit, and we're gonna pour that on top. Smells good already. And then we're gonna top it with the cheese once uh, it cooks a little bit. So now we're gonna make the crab cake mixture to go on top of the fluke. So now we're sweating out the onions and celery for the crab cake. And we're gonna do salt, pepper, and some old bay. In this bowl, we're gonna drop one egg, some Worcestershire, some mayo, mustard. We'll give that a whisk, break up the egg, some pepper, more Old Bay. And we're gonna take some beautiful crab meat and just fold it into there. So that's our onions and celery that sweat out. We're gonna mix those in there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more mayo. 
Little more Old Bay. And just a fresh squeeze of lemon. So now, so now I just have these plain panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna take a nice piece of crab, maybe about that big, nice big chunk. Just gonna roll it in the panko. We're gonna lightly season the fish with just a little olive oil, salt and pepper. We're gonna kind of press it in. But that is stuffed. on the Traeger. I actually forgot to clean the mess from the last brisket. So, it's just gonna add some flavor. Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah. It's time to add the cheese. Sprinkle that around there. Why it's all bubbling and looking good, I'm gonna cover it and then pop it under the broiler when we look when we want to eat it. So this is some garlic butter. We're gonna just top the fluke. Garlic lemon butter, actually. So the Traeger is set to 450. It's running a little hot right now, but that's perfect because we want to cook this fish hot and fast. Nice. All right, we're done. Look at that. So good. That's how our gratin ended up. Finished it under the broiler. Looking good. And then we have just some mixed vegetables with a garlic lemon butter. Ooh. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna take that one. It's Get some garlic. 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 Get some Going in for the bite. Mm. Oh, that's so oh, good. Nice. That's <laughs> really good. I just got the taste of the fish. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's nice. That's a winner. Mm -hmm. so, good mm. so good on the Traeger, you get that like subtle smoke too. Wow. Let's, tr let's try the potato. Fluke is unreal. Mmm. You just melt. Mmm. The potatoes are really good. Ooh. The crab stuffing is, is, I mean, like. Oh. We've tried out crab potatoes a number of times. These are perfect. Unbelievable. Very good. Look at look at that! You, you got a, a a nice sear on the bottom of the fish, even right. in the smoker. It's terrific. I know it's kind of interesting how it got like a crust on there. I don't know. Apparently, people are loving the potatoes. The potatoes are a hit. Potatoes are good. You can get potatoes like this anywhere. On the smoker. This is on the smoker. Yeah. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, see you next time on The Line Cook. See ya.